A Woodland Hills father has just paid a very special tribute to his son. He died in the dive boat disaster off the coast of Santa Barbara two years ago. KCALMI's Candace Crone shares his story tonight. It's been more than two years since a fire broke out on the Conception dive boat off the Santa Barbara coast, killing 34 passengers and crew. The pain is still fresh for Kathy and Clark McIlvain, who lost their son Charlie in one of the worst maritime disasters in recent history. It was the worst day of our lives, absolute worst day of our lives. Since the deadly fire, the couple has made it a point to honor Charlie and remember the joy, love, and fun hiking trips they take. Clark McIlvain said there was no better way to pay tribute to Charlie than to take his son's ashes with him as he hiked the last 500 miles of the Pacific Crest Trail. I could talk to him instead of just myself, and uh, it seemed more appropriate. Every night when I'd set up camp, I always kept the ashes in the bottom of my pack, so I'd pull them out and we'd review what we did that day. We made it. You pushed me all the way. And I can't think of a better place for you. Clark says Charlie's spirit helped him finish the last stretch. And when they did, he scattered his son's ashes as he shared stories about Charlie with fellow hikers. One young man said this, thank you so much for including us in this tribute. And I, I couldn't be more grateful to those group that were there. To me, this was the best memorial we could have, he could have given Charlie. The 71-year-old started the 2,600-mile journey in 2015, hiking a portion of the trail each summer. Although he misses his son, the father said there isn't anyone else he'd rather have completed his life goal with. Reporting in Woodland Hills, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. What a beautiful tribute that is. Great story that he has, yeah. too, right? And he's right there with them always. Exactly. Yeah.